Martin, you, you founded your own film festival in Northern Westphalia. How did you start with that idea? When did it come up? At first it wasn't a festival proper. Uh, it was a monthly film series which I started because there wasn't anything queer in cinemas in our area. Um, so I started with that and it grew from one city to six cities and after a time another festival in Cologne more or less died and I took heritage of that. Um, I founded a new festival uh, to fill the gap and have more LGBT cinema in my area. So LGBT uh, topics are becoming rare in this area where you live? It's, it's, it's not that it became rare but it's more or less, it is rare, except for the big films, uh, the Danish Girl or Pedro Almodovar films. Um, it's rare that films with LGBT content get into cinemas anywhere in Germany. Mm. Uh, although it's a metropolitan area, um, it's not much of an issue in cinema, except for the big names, because they sell, and the smaller films, they don't really sell, so the cinemas don't book them. So this is your, in principle, your idea for the, with this festival that you just like show smaller films, like la smaller productions, what usually wouldn't be screened in a cinema. I wouldn't mind showing the big productions if we got them, um, but sometimes it's difficult because the uh, distributors in Germany, if they have a big name to a film, uh, they have their own agenda to putting the film into festivals or into cinemas mm. and they don't really care much about the smaller festivals. Um, so if we got those bigger films, I wouldn't mind that. But it's, it's just um, that I want to have LGBT cinema at all. Um, otherwise, there wouldn't be anything except for the big productions. But there are so many topics which the big productions don't cover or don't cover in the queer native aspect. Uh, that smaller productions might have. Oh, they are not not so deep in this in the in the topic. I mean, if you yeah. if it's like for like a special queer or LGBT community, it's like it's dealing different with the subject. I get yeah. what you mean. Possibly. Now you are a jury member, so you switch from uh, organizer to a jury member. How does that feel? Uh, well, it's. I, the last couple of years I've been here as press because I write for a gay magazine so I'm already used to Berlinale in a way <laughs> but um, being a jury member you have different duties and it's diff uh, organized a different, in a different way. Um, it's, it's very interesting to meet all the international colleagues who have their own stories and their own views and it's it's different, it's, it's exciting, it's new. So you're having fun with your with the other jury members? Yeah, I like them very much. They, they are fun, they are so interesting, so intelligent and so nice. It's cool. I, I hope we grow, we grow together in the next couple of days. You have a few days left, so... Oh, yeah, well, we, we just started. <laughs> you start. <laughs> I see. So something, what, what fascinates you the most or like what's fascinating for you about film. So why is film so important for you? Um, for me it was always a way to connect with emotions, um, to feel something and that's what I find most important about movies, that they touch me. And if they touch me then it's a good movie. Of course I also appreciate beautiful cinematography and good acting. Um, of course with the good acting comes the feeling. but. Um, I appreciate technicality, but I most appreciate feelings about stories, about uh, what filmmakers or the actors try to portray or convey. So, we're already done. <laughs> I wish you good films at the screenings. Thank you. A lot of fun and see thank you at the Teddy ceremony. Yeah, thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Martin. Thank you.